Hi everyone, I did something fun over the weekend. I set up my own Bitcoin node uh, using the Umbral software and a Raspberry Pi 4 and a one terabyte SSD. And what this lets me do is talk directly to the Bitcoin blockchain without using a third party. So I can use like a blockchain explorer and look at transaction history. And I can also submit transactions. I can send and receive um, Bitcoin directly. Um, this is also a lightning node and it has a lot of cool features. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you the process of setting it up very quickly. Uh, it takes a couple hundred dollars worth of hardware to do this. Uh, and then it'll take, also you have to have an active internet connection where you can be connected 24 seven to download the blockchain. It's quite large. So what you'll need is a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, they recommend the two gigabyte version at a minimum. I think I'm using the four gigabyte version. You'll also need a micro SD card to put your operating system on. This can be, I think they recommend a 16 gigabyte. You'll also need an external solid state drive. And so it has to be a solid state. So I'm using a one terabyte SSD and then you'll also need a USB dongle uh, to connect that. So this just goes from USB to SATA to connect this external SSD. You don't have to have a case for your Raspberry Pi, but I had this older case with a fan and heat sink kit. Uh, I don't think it'll get too hot, but it's not a bad idea to have a fan on this where it's running 24-7. It doesn't use a lot of power. And then you'll also need to connect it to your network. Um, you can set it up to do wireless, but a hard wire connection is much more reliable, and that's what I recommend. Let's hop over to the screencast now to set up Umbral. You can just do a web search for Umbral, or you can go to getumbral.com, click on the Get Started button, it says it takes about five minutes to set up, and it just has a nice guided um, install, uh, some instructions to show us. So we'll click uh, on this install guide, and then we can just click the forward arrow button. So first it tells us everything to get ready, the, the things that we already just went over, and then we need to download the OS. So we click here, and go ahead and click Save File. I'm using Linux Mint as my operating system, but you can do, these instructions will work similarly on uh, Mac or Windows as well. Um, it downloads a .zip file, so we just need to extract it. I do that by right-clicking and going to Extract here, and that gives us a .img file, so an image file. And then we need to flash that using Etcher is what they recommend. Um, you can also just DD this if you're on um, Mac or Linux, but Etcher is a great program. It runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. We download this, and this is the software that we'll use to actually write the image to the micro SD card. So once that's downloaded, we just need to use like a USB adapter if our computer doesn't have it or like an SD to micro SD adapter. We put the card in the computer, open up this Etcher software, and we click flash from file and we navigate to that .img file that we downloaded and extracted. And then click select target. This is the micro SD card. Make sure it's the same one and you're not actually writing over your hard drive because it will erase everything on whatever disk you point to. So this should take a little bit of time and then when it's done, it says if it's um, successful or not, ours was successful. So then we take it out of the uh, USB adapter and put it into the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is powered off at this point and we connect our SSD uh, via the USB dongle. And then we connect to our router by plugging in the network cable and then we power on the Raspberry Pi. And then we wait about five minutes. What it's going to do is detect our solid state drive. It's gonna um, set it up to get the blockchain installed on there so it'll partition it and format it. Uh, and then we just wait five minutes. After we've waited the five minutes to give the Raspberry Pi time to set itself up and get configured, we can navigate to umbral.local by just clicking the shortcut link or by just typing it into our web browser uh, on the same network as the Raspberry Pi. So this will load Umbral for the first time and we have a little bit of setup to do before we can start using it. So we'll click the start button, it asks us our name. We can put in any name here and then it asks us to set a password. So this is the password we'll, that we'll use when we're logging into Umbral um, in the web browser like this. I recommend generating a random password, like a strong secure password um, using a password manager like Bitwarden. The next thing it'll have us do is write down our seed phrase. So we have to do this, even if you're just planning on using this um, and, not, and you're not gonna store funds on it or use it to transact, you still um, need to generate a seed phrase because you still will have uh, a wallet just with a zero balance. This is just the standard uh, 24 word seed phrase. So it gives us a dot onion link that we can use to access this from outside of our network um, through the Tor network, which is pretty cool. You'll still need your username and password to access your node, but it's a great way to access your node securely from outside of your network. This last screen is just telling us Umbral is still in beta, um, so you shouldn't put more money on here than you can afford to lose. Just use it at your own risk. Uh, and that's it. Now we can click go to dashboard 
And what's gonna happen is it's updating all of the blocks. So it's reaching out from the very beginning of time since Bitcoin first started. It's downloading every transaction that ever happened and saving it to this solid state drive. Uh, and it's doing it um, by date. So right now it says like, uh, you know, 3% done. That just means it's 3% of the time, not 3% of the, of the total um, size. So it looks like it's going fast now, but as we get further along in time, it's gonna slow way, way, way down because it's more transactions are happening you know, later on in the future. So this will take several days. It's not really dependent on your internet connection. It's dependent on the speed that you can download these transactions from other nodes on the Bitcoin network. So just um, wait a couple days, you know, log in and check on it. Um, it could take maybe even a couple weeks, I'm not sure. You can start using your node right away, but not all the features will be uh, available until this is done. So my node is still syncing, but when it's finished, I'm gonna make another video just exploring this interface on Umbral. So go ahead and check that out. But if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.